Hi, my name is Victoria King. My friends call me Vicky. I am getting my AA in kinesiology. My hobbies include drawing, um, hanging out with friends, driving really late at night or whenever I feel cooped up in my house. Uh, and that implies rolling all the windows down, blasting my music all the way up, and just driving on Mulholland usually. My most embarrassing moment, I have a lot of embarrassing moments. I'm an embarrassing person, what can I say? I'm also really clumsy, so I have a lot of stories. But my most embarrassing moment would probably have to be in high school. I was a sophomore and we had this building that we shared with freshmen and sophomore students. And so like soph sophomores were on the left side Freshmen were on the right side, they're lockers. And so basically you have steps coming down into a quad and that's where like everyone would hang out for nutrition, which is basically like a recess. And basically I'm walking down these steps and I'm not really paying attention to the actual steps. I'm paying attention to the crowd because I'm looking for my two best friends. And so everyone is in the quad. And when I mean everyone, I mean literally everyone in our school. And because that was the place to be for breaks. And so basically, I'm walking down these steps looking for my friends. And I don't realize that I'm not done with the steps. I thought I was done, but I wasn't. I had one more step left. And I just completely fall on my face eating so much concrete <laughs> and so everyone just stops what they're doing and looks at me and I just remember feeling so hot in my face and when I get anxious or like scared or put on the spot I start to sweat a lot and I sweat no matter what but I just started sweating and no one helped me up Everyone just looked at me and laughed and my two best friends are right in front of me laughing at my face and didn't even help me up. I was really upset with them, but also now I laugh about it. My favorite injury story is probably when I was three or four. I tell this to a lot of people and my glasses cover my scar, but I have a scar right here with like a little freckle, but it's right there. And basically I was maybe... I think I said I was three or four and this was like around the time when Fear Factor was like a big thing on TV and so I thought I was on Fear Factor <laughs> and so basically I was watching the end credits to Charlie and the Chalk Factory and I'm standing on the couch here's the couch here's the coffee table so there's like a little space that I have to jump into I'm jumping on the couch being like, okay, Vicky, like, you have to get this right. Like, you got to make it clear, like, make a clean jump for it. So basically, I jump and I make the landing. I stick it, like, stick the landing, but not as planned. And I basically, from the momentum, I, like, shoot my head back and then forward. And basically, here's the corner of the table and I hit my head on this part and, or I hit the bridge of my nose on that part and it just starts gushing out blood. Thankfully we live right, fairly close to a fire house, fire department. They, I remember seeing all these red lights in my neighborhood. They immediately come over, they take me to the hospital and they glued my nose instead of stitching it and the glue dripped down and my neck was stuck like this and I eventually scratched it off. I'm from Sherman Oaks, California. Woo! Technically born in, in uh, Santa Monica, but we don't need to be technical. I'm taking this class because it's not only a GE for me, but I also really want to work on my public speaking skills. I'm not great at it, even talking in front of a camera. I made many mistakes, I know. And yeah, I just want to be comfortable talking to people that I don't know. My life goals are pretty important to me. They are what motivates me, at least right now. And basically, I want to start a nonprofit organization for 
animals that have been abused. So animal cruelty animals, I wanna rescue them. And then also aid people with mental health issues. One interesting fact about me would have to be, I love food. I'm very, like, a, I'm a huge foodie, but I'm also really picky. I don't like olives, anything with olives. I don't like raw onions, but I love cooked onions, like saute them, oof, perfect. I love sushi, but I hate, hate salmon. Cannot stand salmon. Um, love dogs, love animals, but yeah. I like admiring salmon when they're not killed, but I don't like eating it. The smell of it just mm -mm, does not sit right. But yeah, thank you for listening to me. Bye.